So our mission in workforce development is to, is to create programming to allow individuals to enter the workforce. Um, they're, most of the time, they're short-term training programs. So someone would come here for anywhere from one month to four months, gain a skill, and then that skill allows them to get a credential, and the credential allows them to entry into the workforce. And you're sitting on stage and you see so many smiling faces, so, so many family members are so proud because of the journey, because a lot of our students, they have, uh, maybe, I won't say a more difficult journey, but a different journey. And that journey truly, you, you, you see the culmination of that when, when graduation time comes, and it's really, really exciting for us as, a, as an administration. I'm a senior at William Penn, and my eighth grade year, I was at McCullough Middle School, and my counselor just happened to be friends with the coordinator of Upper Bound Math Science at Dell Tech. So he brought her in, and she gave a presentation to us, and I immediately fell in love, and I liked her charisma and how sweet she was. And so I talked to my mom, and we did the application process and the interview, and then I got into Upper Bound. My first kind of introduction to biology was in Upward Bound. Over the summer following my ninth grade year, I took a biology class with a teacher who was an Upward Bound alumni herself, and she was going to Rutgers at the time. And so she taught the course, even though it was only six weeks, she taught it like it was a full school course that would take months to do. So I remember being hounded with it, but and just every minute I was loving biology. So then I got into it, I was like, okay, maybe this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. So I looked into it and with the help of them, I found like websites and things where you could see schools for that are like really good in biology and I found the University of Maryland and ever since then I've wanted to go. So I'm about to graduate from William Penn High School and Upward Bound Math Science and in the fall I'll be going to the University of Maryland College Park to major in biology with a concentration in cell biology and genetics. I came to Delaware Tech to obtain my GED. They have a wonderful program for people of all ages who may have felt discouraged about going back to school. Just life got in the way and I got off track a little, but my kids, my mom, my family, they were my inspiration to come back, go back, you can do it, and I did it. I was determined, and I got my GED. The teacher who helped me the most was Dean Mitch. Dean Mitch was an all-around guy. He was on hands. You needed help, he was there. Any questions, he was there. Now that I completed my GED, my confidence is sky high. So I'm reaching for the stars right now. I want to do human services. Like that's the field I really want to be in. And it's, it's no stopping. So I'm going to continue to stick with Dell Tech. And I'm just honored to be able to just tell y'all my story today. Right before I found out about the paraprofessional program, I had a personal epiphany that I wanted to be a teacher. I was looking on Indeed for literally part-time jobs so that I could go to school to be a teacher, and I saw a ad for the paraprofessional program, and I thought the universe could not be working for me any better because that's, this is exactly the area I want to go into. It was a free course. It was perfect for me. They had morning hours. I was like, this is it. Education over the years is realizing how important the paraprofessionals are, like that extra helping hand in the classroom, that one-on-one -on -one time with that student, it makes all the difference. So we deal with um, students with disabilities, we do, like I said, one-to-one, -one, but we also do small instruction, so we do like small groups, people who need extra help, things like that. Just like any human being, um, we all have obstacles that can make us feel like we can't get to that goal that we're trying to get towards. I knew going into the program that there were going to be some days that were not easy. I know that at the end of this, I'm going to get a qualifying job that's going to lead me into a rewarding career. I think my future is so bright <laughs> and I am looking forward to that. I want to keep building. So the next steps are to continue my education so that I can be an art teacher in the future. My background by trade is pretty much management in the healthcare field. Uh, I managed the housekeeping, laundry operations, maintenance operations of numerous facilities. I was looking for a new career opportunity uh, that, that was stable. Coming into the program, I was a novice when it comes to uh, the trades. I was not mechanically inclined. When I uh, found out that the class sizes are small, I had the one-on-one -on -one instruction 
from my instructor that I so need, needed. So that built my confidence, and from there, I just took off. I've already successfully had two interviews, and hopefully in the near future, those skills and the learning process allow me to open up my own business. I've always had an interest and a love in computers. However, um, I was having difficulties in finding a position. So I decided to sign up for the Java Academy. So basically I could go to um, employers and say, look here, I accomplished this, I finished this, so that they could see that I had the skill set. Well, the course was very intensive and challenging in the sense that the time commitment. So a lot of the challenges I had was just getting used to being in a classroom setting again and taking a class and just making it all work and the balance of it. The Java Academy program helped me get through the technical interview port portion for my position. I wouldn't have had the position without it. I'm starting to feel within myself that I'm gonna be okay and I'm gonna make it ultimately to the place that I wanna be. You know, I'm inspired by the stories of our students, their tenacity. And we've all had our own journey, and it really touches you to see how much effort and, and how individuals can persevere, can overcome so many things to not only, and, and most of our, our, our students, they're not just doing it for themselves, they have children. You know, they have, they have some of them have parents they're taking care of, so they're really not just changing their lives, they're changing the lives of a lot of many other people.